Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and we continue with my overview of the On One Perfect Photo Suite 6. We have learned a lot what we can do with the new Photo Suite 6, some uh, good effects, how we create black and white, and on this image here, I like to show you what we can do with vignettes and which kind of vignettes you have already built in and the most time I think you will work in the perfect effects and here you have two fast options to use the vignetting at first here in the options panel you can choose directly the vignette and it's something like you already know from the raw converter. We lift up the image a little bit and you have the black and the white one. You can change the midpoint, the feather, the roundness and an overlay as well. And I think the most effect it will take with the black one like you can see now it's a little bit more of a contrasty vignetting i like this and use it very often but if you use it on normal it's like a vignette from the raw converter but if you're already doing something to your image here in the perfect effects so now you know you can create another layer using the vignetting here from the options panel and you're good to go. The, the other one you will find here on the preset panel and here you have some nice presets like a blurriness to the edges and a little bit of a contrast you have something like a frame going around the whole image. You have grungy styles and uh, some, some soft vignettings like this one. And on some presets you can change the effect. You can change the overlay or which style you want to have. But I like to show you another option you can use. And for that we go back to the layers panel and I will jump into another part of this photo suite and this is photo frames. Yeah, and uh, we change the size of the thumbnail so that you can see a lot more of them as I go through. You have some categories here on the left hand side and um, some of them are a little bit more of an art style. Some backgrounds you can use for texturizing. Uh, some of them are only frames like the name from photo frame and it's all these frames you see here they are frames actually but you can use them as a vignetting as well and I love to do it these kinds not good for vignetting but there are some other ones which are very good to use you can combine a lot of them you can add a lot of these frames to your image and you will get some layers back into photo layers you have texture overlays there are some of them you can use as in vignetting as well um, you can mask out areas and use only the corners or the edges and uh, this is a little bit more of an art style, but I like them as well. 
And we go back to the man-made. And I think we use one of them here. Can make the thumbnail a little bit bigger to have a better overview. And let's say for this video, for example, we take oh, this one. I think it's okay. You can change like you saw in the uh, perfect effects. You can change the frame into black and white. So you can use as this, these frames as white or black vignetting. Uh, I would like to use black ones. And you can take a look how these frames are built. But we want to take a look on our image so that we can see how it will be if we go back and we apply this frame now. And here back in the layers panel, um, you have all of your creativity and you can change everything like the size. You can scale it, you can rotate it. Like you see this little ring now, if you're outside the frame, you can rotate the whole frame to change the view. You have all options you want to have. You can flip it if you use a different frame with different angles to the corners, you can flip it around. But for me, it's okay to apply it like it is. And then you can see you have a separate layer with a frame on it. And as I mentioned before, you can choose and add a lot of the these frames to your image and you will have for every frame a separate layer so that you can merge it or change the opacity or change the blending mode. Often I use overlay or soft light. Take a look. If you choose soft light, you have a little bit of a art vignette. Hard light will work. Multiply, darken, it's like the same as normal for this image. Screen, lighten, it's good for the white ones. And I often like soft light or hard light change the opacity and for some of the frames I like to use the masking mode to mask out some areas of the image especially if I'm working with many layers here with many different frames for my creative style. So you have every option you want to have it's very comfortable to use, I think. It's like every post-processing program and it's good to go. Yeah, this was it for now about the vignetting. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.